What's up? My name is Alexander. Right now, I'm running my agency while simply traveling the world, meeting others, doing the same thing. I've been trying to be able to travel to multiple different places in like the last couple of months. Since I want to make a video to talk to my younger self, because I know there's probably so many of you out there that probably want to start an agency, start making money online, being able to rent Airbnbs like this. And I totally understand that I've been there myself, even though you might I'm not sure, maybe, maybe some of you have a couple of clients or sort of stuck in being some form of freelancer, don't really feel you have a proper business where your time is not attached to everything in the business. This video is for you. So as I said, my name is Alexander. I'm running my own agency, making multi six figures. So the first thing I remember, the main thing I felt was like unclarity. I did not really understand or know what to work on or really what to do. And it sort of paralyzes, paralyzed me at least, and I'm sure a lot of you can feel the same thing. Like you don't really know what to do. Um, and obviously it's hard to take action on something when you know when you don't know what to do. I'm pretty sure most of you understand that taking action is the first step to actually improving and getting good at something. But again, when you don't know what to do, it's hard to take action in the first place. So me realizing that you don't need to know exactly everything to move forward helped me, first of all, so much. I understand, like... Let's say you are watching a bunch of YouTube videos, you're learning about how to run an agency and you realize, all right, I need to pick a niche, I need to create an offer, I need to do learn service delivery, I need to do this, I need to do that and everything like that. Of course, all those things are important, but they have their time in place. The first thing you should do is just try to gain clarity on your situation. Because obviously, if you want to start an agency, the first thing you need to do is assign clients. That's the main thing. If you don't have any clients, you don't really have an agency. I, I think we can agree on that. So how do you actually get clients then? First of all, through outreach, actually getting your offer in front of others. That's the first thing. So don't get stuck in creating onboarding funnels, creating websites, because for now, that's not very important. Because if you don't have any clients, that should be your number one priority and should stay that way throughout your entire agency journey. Everything else comes after that. So that's really the first thing, like focus on outbound, get your clients. That's that's the main first thing. When you finally have the clients, when you have the clients to serve, that's when you can start to focus on more service delivery. Because also, like you can try to prepare how much you want before actually getting any clients, let's say about service delivery. But once you actually sign your clients, that is when you will actually learn the most about service delivery. You can prepare how much you want, but you will never be prepared for the actual service itself once you understand that whilst starting to serve your clients, if that makes sense. So don't try to over-prepare. Just take it as you go and trust yourself that you will be able to figure it out once you actually start signing the clients. That's what, that's what I did. And it's been going really great. Regarding the, let's say, steps to actually sign clients, it's it might sound super confusing and super advanced, but it, it really isn't. So obviously the first thing you need is outreach. Get your offer in front of others and if you're completely starting out consider doing some form of performance basis strictly performance base where let's say you charge them per appointment you book or you charge them per client they sign which makes it super super simple and very 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 low risk for your clients which means you'll have a very easy time to actually sign clients and get some experience that's your first goal then after that once you do the outreach you now want to start book appointments because you can't really like it's very hard to actually sign clients let's say over cold email or cold dms directly like you need to actually book in the time to speak to them and show them what you do and then give them an offer that's how it works you do outbound and um, outreach let's say cold email cold dms cold calling to get your offer in front of others you book in a call where you can speak more on that call you simply ask them some questions figure out more about their business first of all you actually figure out if you actually can help them in the first place that's the main thing so once you actually understand okay i can actually help this person and i can actually help them get more clients, get more results. That's when you make an offer. And now if you have a really good offer, which is performance based or whatever, it should really be a no brainer and you should will start signing clients. Yeah, that's really the third step. Like actually get good at sales, get good at communicating your way of doing things and why that is the best way in like how them will actually receive, uh, achieve their goals and grow their business. Then you sign them and now it's time to get to work. Now you do the service delivery. And as I said, the more service delivery you do as any other thing, the better you will be at actually doing it. So what I really want to say is that don't try to overcomplicate things without the need for that. It's very easy as a beginner because obviously simply you starting your own agency, starting your own business, it's very different from the rest. The traditional way is to get a nine to five, work that. But if you're like me, you want your own thing. You want to travel the world, rent Airbnbs like this. Right now I'm in Turkey, by the way. 
This is not the traditional way of living, which means you can't go the traditional route. Even you considering starting your business is a bit weird and a bit like outsider-ish. The main thing is just getting clarity and actually understand the next steps. And as long as you have that and always like keep yourself in check and make sure you always do like work on what you should be working on, not procrastinating, not coping and thinking you should do a bunch of other stuff, then you're on the right way. And yeah, that's basically it. That's what helped me the most. When I realized that it helped me tremendously when I was a beginner and hopefully it can help someone else out there as well.